Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on Informatica MDM. In today's tutorial, we are going to see what are the aspects we have to consider for Informatica Data Director, that is IDD testing. So let's start. So the case study we are considering here is, assume that we have company named as ABC, which already implemented the MDM hub and they are already implemented the IDD application. As a QA or as a tester, we have to <coughs> test this IDD application. So this IDD application consists of subject area for customer and that subject area customer will be used to managing data. MDM provides roles like data steward to manage the data by using Informatica MDM multi-domain IDD application. It can also provide the other users such as business users or it can be having the business specific roles also. Thus can be used by the different set of user graphically following them to perform various activities such as creating a new record, editing existing record, or merging the record. The IDD application can also be used to see the what are the potential matches of the record. The another use of the IDD application is to view the hierarchy if the hierarchies are configured for your MDM requirement. So what are the things we have to check as a tester? First of all, we have to check whether we have the proper access to IDD application. The URL will be provided by MDM administrator. The URL for IDD application I'm referring here. So we have, we have to use that URL and try to access in browser. So there are specific versions of, versions of the browsers are required so make sure you are using correct version of browser you can also let know to the admin uh, MDM admin about the which browser you are using or you can get the information from development team as well as from admin about the what kind of browsers we need to use to access the added application this added application is by default in English language uh, Internet, if the internationalization has implemented, you can choose the corresponding language such as Spanish, German, French, etc. The uh, data in the IDD will be the same language as it existed in the source system. So the labels will be changed for like uh, what are the labels you have in the IDD application, but the, the data within field will not change. It will be the same as what are maintained in the database. On successful login to the system, we have, it will take us to the home page. So when you provide, when you access the URL, uh, when you access the added application using the URL provided by admin, it will ask us to provide username and password. If username and password are correctly provided, then it will take us to the home screen. The home page view will consist of three tabs: dashboard, data, and tasks. This is for legacy IDD. If you are using Entity 360 application, you will have the different look and feel. And the different look and feel will be based on the what is the project requirement. Because the home page can be configured. It is also known as a start page uh, in the Entity 360. The start page can have the multiple components. But if you are using legacy IDD application, dashboard, data and task tab will be available in the home screen. Now how to log in to the application. So during this user will log into IDD with their network username password. If uh, the LDAP or the AD has configured or the network authentication has configured in the MDM hub. On authentication failure, the standard IDD application error message will be like this either password is invalid or username does not exist mdm will allow multiple login attempts if user authentication fails 
Of course, th there is limit can be set at the back end in the MDM side, but by default, you can uh, it allows the multiple login. The ID application will be configured for two user roles: the data steward and so as on the super user. Data steward role is uh, actually they can able to search and view the record as well as perform the merge action and create they will not able to create or update any record so that is just like the functionality we can tweak that we can allow data steward to do that functionality as well however super ha super user has a more privilege they can also search and view as well as create and update the record even they can merge or unmerge the record also the MDM hub will maintain the rules for all individuals with access to IDD system. Every user will be assigned to one and only one role. This is just standard practice. You can assign a single user to multiple roles also. Who, which, which, what are the roles as assigned to given user? Um, that access will be available. For example, ABC is a user and it is assigned to data steward and super user data steward has uh, assume that search view and uh, merge act, merge capabilities however super user has suppose search view merge and unmerge and if abc user assigned to this both the role then that user will have the body privileges like abc user can search view create or update merge or unmerge those kind of functionality that user can make so it will have the, all the privileges it's a combination of privilege in that case the very important thing which normally handle in idd application is nothing but the task management so as a idd tester we have to also test whether the task management is also working fine so how to test so we have to log into the idea application it will take us to a dashboard tab and it will also display the task tab we have to go to the task tab where the all the tasks will be assigned for given user so we have to make sure those are correctly assigned the completed tasks will display all previously completed tasks for the current user so completed tasks will be also available to see the task administrator administration tab will be available only for super user role and will show all tasks for all users so in the task tab the users will the tasks which are assigned to that given user not for all users the following four buttons will be available to users with sufficient privilege for managing tasks open task reassign task task detail and task lineage so make sure all these buttons are enabled and try to click those buttons and see whether you are able to access the information if it is not then you can create a defect for development team to fix that it will be possible to assign tasks to other users based on the privileges associated with the user while creating new tasks we have to follow we have to provide the details and this it is mandatory we have to provide the what is the title of a task it is a priority of task, whom to assign, and what type of task it is. The priority of a task can be high, normal, or low. The priority will be have the default value as a normal. It will be possible to select a due date for the task. The due date will default to date five business days from the current system date. We can change that default date. Once a task is created and assigned to a user, only super user or user to whom the task is currently assigned will be able to modify the task details. So these are the couple of things we have to keep in mind and make sure these are working fine in the task section of IDD. There are a couple of things we can test. Uh, we can create a search queries in IDD and try to search the record. So for example, we can create a search query using first name and last name and just hit search button and it will, if the records found with that criteria, we'll get the result. If you want to do the asterisk search, like the like kind of search, you can use the asterisk and try to search the record. You can use a different combination of columns and create a search query. Make sure you are able to create the query, 
save the query and again try to access that query you should be able to do that if something is not working you can let you can create a defect you can let the developers know about the, the non-working functionalities Additionally, apart from that, we can have the extended search. If the fuzzy search has configured, then you can test the extended search functionality also. Search results. So once you search the record, you will get the results in tabular formats, but you will not get the in details. So those will we are going to see that in this section. System will allow the wildcard search on all field except list of value fields where the drop downs are present wildcard character would be asterisk that is the uh, wildcard character used it can be included at the beginning at the end or at the middle of the search phrase system will allow the users to customize search results display to return data columns from a set of available columns system will allow the users to select a sort order for records system will only display base object data when returning search result it will not return the xref or history record so what are the records available in the base object will be displayed now we got the result how to view the records so there is a view uh, open icon is there open button is there you can just open click on that open record button or you can just double click on the record it will take us to our next screen where you can see the detailed section of record based on the what are the subject areas and subject area child subject area grandchild has configured opening any record from search results screen will take to the user to view record screen it will be possible to view the relationships or hierarchy information in a graphical format all IDD users will be able to see history of a base object record changes in this view record screen. So it will have the history, it will have the xref also. So in the result, you will not see the uh, records from the xref or history, but you will get the base object record. Once you open that record, you will get the base object record, history record, and the xref record as well. Now we have to make sure we are able to add or update the record so in order to do that system will allow the new records to be created only by user with super user privilege if that is the way it is configured the system will allow the new affiliation or relationship to be created only by a user with super user privilege as i said if it is that is the way it is configured otherwise data steward can do these activities the system will allow records to be updated only by user with super user privilege and records means uh, system will allow records to be unmerged only by the super user privilege so these are kind of use cases these use cases might vary in your implementation so make sure you are capturing all those use cases deduplication so this is one of the functionality you can check in the idd user will be able to find a potential duplicate or we also call as a potential matches the potential matches of record will be displayed in a side by side comparison view so that we user can compare the actual values where it is matching and where it is where it is exactly matching and where it is fuzzy matching user will be able to merge the duplicate records or create or assign merge tasks for that if user decide against merging two potential matches user will be able to mark this record as unique also so that means if these records are matched by system but they are not matches real matches then they can be accepted as a unique record both the data steward as well as super user will be have the access to merge or unmerge the record next thing we can test in the idd application is nothing but the hierarchy view it is very special and interesting view and it has various functionalities like creating the relationship and adding the parent and child relationship viewing in the different format using the filters are working fine or not if you have the multiple hierarchy filtering on the, with the hierarchy specific for given type those kind of functionality we can test in the hierarchy view it has a different color styles so we have to make also to make sure the color styles also working fine the images also looks good or not those kind of things we can verify in the hierarchy view user will be able to see the relationship between the two entities in pictorial representation 
Hierarchy View allows users to view details, create and update a relationship. In the Hierarchy View space, user will have the option to search an entity, create a new entity as well as select and update any entity that is participating in given relationship. So these are the functionalities we have to test. We have to first test the access to application. We have to test the functionalities such as search, create, update. We can search, uh, we can also test the search functionality as well as the task management. And we can also test the hierarchy. Con if, if hierarchy is configured, we can test it out also. I hope you are having a uh, you're getting good amount of information about testing the IDD application. If you have any questions or queries, or if you're looking for the templates, you can definitely let me, in, let me know in the comment section of this video. Thank you again for watching this video. Have a nice time.